Robin Yassin Kassab has seen the suffering of Syria's refugees for himself. He visited a camp in June and has met some of the estimated 4.3 million children now classified as at risk by UNICEF thanks to a conflict that has already claimed more than 120,000 lives. He says the situation there is desperate and about to get worse. A lot of the children will die. I mean, we've already got children and old people who are dying of hunger in Syria, which used to be a reasonably developed country. Now people are dying of, of typhoid, of polio, of, 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 of um, hunger and of the cold. The winter is freezing in Syria and this winter lots of children will die if we can't get blankets and hats and coats to them to keep them warm. Twenty dollars, which is about 13 pounds, will get a child, will get one child a winter package which means a blanket, a coat and a hat. And that's the difference, it could be the difference between life and death. This winter, one and a half thousand Syrian children will get one of those winter packs, thanks to Robin and a small team of international volunteers who pledged to shave off much-loved facial hair if first family and friends and then complete strangers would give generously. They've now raised in excess of $30,000. The razors are out and most are losing beards and moustaches, but not Robin. Here it goes. Goodbye, monobrow. Well, my monobrow is my, um, my trademark. I don't know who I am without my monobrow. It's my very identity. For years, women have been ordering me to get rid of the central part of my monobrow and turn it into two brows. And I've always refused. I've always thought, you, you know, you love me, you love my monobrow. Um, but for the sake of Syrian children getting through this horribly cold winter, I've decided to, to do it for charity. It is an unusual, perhaps even bizarre thing to do for a charity fundraiser, but thanks to Robin and his team's efforts, 1,500 Syrian children will be in much better shape to face an otherwise bleak winter. Ryan Dollard, ITV News, Castle Douglas.